What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna go through a full parts list, model list of my IS300 right here. But before we get started, please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Got some fun, cool things coming along. So if you like IS300 and more off-roading content soon. So if you're into cars, hit the subscribe button, get a thumbs up and let's get started. So we're gonna start with the front of the car and then make our way back. Of course, we got the first thing you see first is the Alteza grill. This is an eBay Alteza grill and it fits pretty well, surprisingly, um, but it is eBay. And that's the only thing in front of this car that is aftermarket, except these bumper tabs right here. Password JDM. Um, yeah, interesting thing is I bought it on eBay or Amazon and yeah um, I don't think it said password JDM when I bought it and then when it came in it said password JDM so I don't know now just to show the engine bay it is 100% stock like there's literally no mod in here I haven't even touched the air box or the air filter since I got the car you can check I didn't even change the battery the only thing I did was like maintenance stuff on this car timing belt water pump right there uh thermostat housing uh, thermostat um, new belt um, new power steering pump but these are all some maintenance items so not that important so let's make our way to the suspension all right lighting is not the greatest but i am running gs 300 outer tie rods and gs 300 inner tie rods and you can see the lower control arm is extended. It is a stock lower control arm, but it is extended 30 millimeters. So you can see the welds get a little closer right there. And I am running, uh, all my arms are stock. I do have super pro bushings all around. So super pro bushings on the lower control arm number two, which is the castle arm. Super pro bushing on the lower control arm. And these TN coilovers, these are kind of a placeholder until my BCs come in. And that's like the final part I'm like waiting for, it's just the BC coilovers. I've been saying in the past like five videos, but literally the last thing I'm waiting for is the coilovers. Making our way to the angle kit, which is right there. That is a excessive manufacturing standard angle kit. Um, it is not a lot of angle, but you can see how much angle it has. So it is a, a fair amount. I would say. And here's another look at this angle. You can see excessive manufacturing angle kit and everything else is stock. And you come out the front tires. I purposely have 17s in the front and 18s in the rear because this is how I would be drifting with this setup. And these are our Kenda KR20s. I run them in the front because this car is stock and the power is like, what, 200 horsepower to the crank. So not a lot of power, but enough to drift. Um, this has enough grip for me. I used to run Federal SSRRs, but um, I like these because they're not as loud on the street. And then the wheels I'm running are Avid AV21. Um, I don't know the actual model number. I forgot, I'll post it in the screen. These are 17 by 8 plus 35. So not aggressive at all. But I run a narrow wheel in the front because the angle kit, I don't want to do with rubbing. And I do have a spacer on here. I have a 12 millimeter spacer that you can kind of see right there. And it is perfect so it doesn't rub. It didn't even rub with the before the spacer. So space it just to make it fit me a little bit better all right these door cars they're actually from a different car i don't remember what i300 comes out of but these are the white suede someone someone let me know which model i300 this came out of because i know they're not that common got out of junkyard so pretty cool um i thought i put these on because they were a little bit different from the black and faded purple that the i300s come with right here it's the energy short hub as well as a quick release attached to A Momo steering wheel. Got this Momo wheel in Japan and brought it home with me from Up Garage. So it's been on almost 
I passed three, four track cars. I wouldn't say track cars, but passed three, four cars. And in here we got this eBay aluminum special right here. No brands. I just bought the cheapest light sh lightweight shift knob because I don't like the weight of shift knob. I don't like the way it feels. I like to kind of, you know, feel the weight of the transmission shifting. So that's why I went with a lightweight one. Some Pioneer deck that came with the car as well as a eBay handbrake with the Toge factory e-brake button so I can pull the e-brake whenever. And you notice I have two separate seats. This is a NRG bucket seat, the FRP 300. One, 301, something like that. Uh, I'll post a link in the description, but it's a full bucket. This is a large, and you can see spacing is very limited, especially with this roll cage. So it is pushed as far to the center console as possible. And so I fit perfectly in there. The seat fits perfect. And you can see on that side, this is a, a bride guess. Guess, 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 I don't remember. And that's for the passenger, it's a little more comfy. You can run the stock seat belts if you want to. This side, I couldn't run a stock seat belt because there's literally no room to put the clips. You can see this is all I have. This side has way more room, which will lead me to these Bridge Moto four point harness. I have one on both just in case. When we go to the track and the passenger wants to feel secure, we can throw those on. Um, these are FIA certified. So um, it's hard to find good pricing on FIA certified four point harness. Um, Cause uh, they're, for some reason they're really expensive. So Bridge Moto, it's a really good place to, to look at. And they have tons of color, tons of options. And I actually have a discount. So if you spend $80 on Bridge Moto, just use Lunatics, capital L, you'll get $10 off your purchase. So. If you want some safety equipment for, for a good price, hit them up. All right, and I forgot to mention the roll cage. This was actually custom built. Um, it's welded in. Yep, this is welded in. This was done by Dynamic Auto Works in Fremont. It is a half cage. And so you can see it has hoop bars, goes around, cross, harness bar, down bar, and it has door bars that go across through here and it, it's really really close to the door so I got to keep my door cards so full street car mode right there super tight to everything which honestly I'm pretty happy that I feel it I fit a full bucket with the roll cage and door card because this is like the perfect street machine now and then got the fire extinguisher this is the um, what is it called the O'Reilly special like 30 bucks um, it's meant for cars uh, fire extinguishers for cars are different than the one in the house because these are liquid fires um, with gasoline and stuff so you need a special kind of fire extinguisher then I got this mount off Amazon it was like one of the cheapest roll cage mount fire extinguisher thing um, I'll post a link in the description for this as well you'll find everything in the link in the description below so um, yeah if you guys want to copy this build or you know find some parts on here that you like go ahead and look in the description but Super safe, super secure. Um, it doesn't, I mean, it wobbles a little bit, but in drift, this thing's not gonna fall off. It is held on my hose clamps, a little bit ghetto, but for cheap and the price, works good. For the side skirts, I am running TRD side skirts. Disclaimer, one side is fake and one side is real. So this is the fake side. And this is the real side. You can see the fitment is so much better on the real one. And let's go back to the fake side. Yeah, it's super, super trash, but from a distance, you can't even tell. And then we got these chrome door handles right here. This is also another eBay special. The only reason I put this on was because when I wrapped my car, I didn't want to wrap the door handle because it was really hard. So I put chrome on it and it looked good. And I just never took this off. All right, right here is a, another eBay special. It is a, the roof wing for the IS300. And surprisingly, it fits really good. It's held on by double-sided tape. And it is rattle can with dupli color paint from O'Reilly. So, so far, I mean, the paint, paint matches really good. Most of this car is actually painted with rattle can. Like this wing right here. I get a lot of questions on what kind of wing this is. And I don't think anybody actually knows. Well, most people should know because it's almost an iconic classic wing, just not on this car, but on 240s, 
and Nissans and stuff. This is a 326 power wing. Um, you see them a lot on 180s and 350Zs and stuff like that. But surprisingly, it fit really well, flows with the line of the car. I mean, I like it. It's really obnoxious, but it kind of completes its rear end. The rear end kind of look, you know, really like a family sedan car. And this really kind of, you know, flares up a little bit, you know. I'm not the first one to do that. There's plenty of people that did before me. So this is just something that I just wanted to do because it looks cool. Fits pretty good. I do have a wing trunk, so I do have to patch these holes in the future, but that's for another day. And this is also all rattle can with um, dupli color from O'Reilly's for GTP for Toyotas. And I mean, for rattle can, you can't even tell for the most part. Most people can't tell from far away. I mean, if you're a paint guy, you'll notice the imperfections on here, but man, it's not that bad at all, honestly. All right, so these rear wheels are actually, they're 18s. They're 18 by 8.5 plus 30. These are the Artisa Artform Titans. Um, and honestly, I think they they look pretty cool. They're directional and they're what they call deco directional. So they spin the direction on the side. So this is only for the right side because it spins that way. If you go on this side, this wheel actually spins the other way. So each side has a purpose facing wheel because some directional wheels only go one direction. So one side looks off but these ones are actually meant to go a certain direction which make them look really cool and i have what are these 215 40 18 um acceleras 5 phi um they were cheap and they were good burners i got um a set mounted and balances for all four for 400 bucks i haven't drifted with these yet so we'll see how they hold up i normally run iron man but these seem to have good reviews in terms of drifting i got the LED tail lights. These are also from eBay, but I bought these used on Facebook Marketplace. Um, they look really cool. They have these like LED dots in them, and yeah, I only have the outside. The middle is still these stock faded tail lights that need to get like polished up and probably clear coated. And the last part of the rear end is this rear lip. This is also eBay. This is a TRD replica. Um, this is. I had two of these before, and this one's probably the one that fit the best. But this is also rattle can. This is probably one of my worst jobs. You can tell it's peeling, but I think because it scrapes all the time. And yeah, I think I also hit a couple cones while drifting, but TRD, eBay. This muffler tip is actually just an O'Reilly's muffler tip that is welded on. If I can get a good angle of it. You can see right there. It is just welded on really badly, really poorly. Now it's time to go to the, the rear suspension. All right, for the rear suspension, I do have excessive solid subframe bushings as well as excessive diff bushings. I have it on the subframe diff bushings as well as, let's see if I can get a good shot of it. But here is the excessive diff bushing right there and then also right there I do have excessive manufacturing upper control arms for to just camber and then I have excessive manufacturing toe arms and for the rears I also have an ABOC rear sway bar put it at the stiffest setting and then for the brakes I do have drilled and slotted rotors by power stop I only have the rears as well as power stop brake pads, can't really see them, but for the rear end, that's pretty much it, except for I do have a welded diff now, and I just found out it's leaking, so I gotta figure that out, but it is a 3.9 welded off an automatic IS300. I used to run the 4.0, but, or 4.1 FRS, but now it's just 3.9 welded, because honestly, I wanted to see how a 3.9 welded would feel drifting and tandeming, so kind of the only reason why I went with it, and yeah, uh, I gotta address that leaking problem now. Well, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys are inspired, you know, to use some of this part. It's not the perfect build. I'm still testing it out. So hopefully it's, you know, complete. I would say it's 99% complete. You know, it's missing a few things here and there, especially cosmetics. It's always gonna change cosmetically, but in terms of functionality, it's, I think it's gonna be where it's at right now. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.